What's going on, bourbon friends? We are about to get into some uh, <laughs> some interesting conversation. So I'm gonna go through five whiskeys that I am glad I did not buy. So five whiskeys, um, mostly bourbons, but there's a rye in there as well. Um, and also, you guys know me; I'm always going through an asterisk as well. So might as well keep it keep it consistent, right? So I will say when I go through this list, uh, again, I'm glad I did not buy these bottles. Uh, many people out there, you might enjoy them. They might be for you, but they are not for the judge, at least for me personally. Luckily, I guess the good news is that I was able to try all these at some point, either at friends' houses or at bourbon bars or just different places. So I've tried all of them. And honestly, I'm just, thank goodness. I'm just glad. It's, I'm glad I didn't buy these bottles, honestly. So the good news is that if you like these, hey, I see them sitting on the shelves all the time. So you will find them all over, literally. Cool. All right. I'm going to go through each one. And I'm going to tell you high level the reason why I just, why it just doesn't work for me. All right. All right. So starting off, whoo, here we go. It's about to get real. <laughs> mm. Starting off the numero uno spot. These are not ranked in order of, I guess, my dislike. They're just all in order. The number one, and this is more the brand in general. They have multiple versions. I think I've tried almost every version. And it's just for my pal. It just doesn't work well. Basil Hayden's. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just, I can't get down with Basil Hayden's. I don't care which version it is. I know they've came out with all the different ones. Most recently, the Toasted. I just can't get down with Basil Hayden's. To me, it's just so bland. It's such a bland product. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's just not for me. It really isn't. So Basil Hayden is, is number one. Number two. Whew. Oh my goodness. This one actually, funny story. A good friend of mine, you know how sometimes you have to almost kind of fake the funk. A good friend of mine invited me over. We were sipping bourbon. And he's like, hey, I have this brand. It's a special finish, like a wine finish. You're going to love it. And I was like, I was like, okay, well, which wine finish? Because there's a lot of different brands out there that have wine finishes. As soon as he brought it out, I was like, oh boy, here we go. So coming in the number two spot. Jefferson's. So there's obviously the Jefferson's, the, the wine finish. There's also, which I've tried that one. I've tried the, the ocean, like the uh, age at sea. I'm just not a Jefferson's fan. I don't know what it is about their, um, their products. They just do not work well for me personally. I don't know. I've tried almost all, well, not all versions, obviously not every single single barrel that's out there. Um, but I've tried all of like their standard products, like the, the, um, the ocean agency uh whiskey it just doesn't do it for me i think their whiskey is just okay but i think it's a little bit pricey for what you're getting quality wise just my personal opinion again hey if you love jefferson's go ahead enjoy it but for me mm -mm 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 -mm. no 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 okay <laughs> coming in the three spot now i will say their lower end whiskey is definitely the reason why this one's on the list. They do have like the uh, an older age. I think it's like the age 10 year. It's like the brown label. That one I've tried and it's actually okay. It's still a little expensive for the price point, but in my opinion, stay away from Clyde Mays. Clyde Mays whiskey is just, mm, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't go there. Again, I know there are people that love Clyde Mays, but not me personally. Just not my cup of tea. I don't know. It is what it is. I just can't get down with it. I really can't. You know, hey, we all have what we like, what we like, right? As they say in life, we like what we like. Hey, real quick, uh, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know if there are a couple whiskeys out there that you just don't gel with. Uh, it's just not your cup of tea. And last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get a notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right. Number four might be the worst one on the list. Cool bottle, right? The bottle design is absolutely fantastic. The whiskey, not so much. I'm going to call it how it is. You guys know me. I'm always going to keep it real. The whiskey is flat out. It's horrible. I mean, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Lusty Claw. Oh, my goodness. That is some bad whiskey. It really is. It's bad. It's not even, like, somewhat decent. It's just, ugh, just bad, bad. And I mean bad. It's one of those whiskeys where at a friend's house, I remember trying it two times. Then I tried it again. Like, you know, you keep thinking to yourself, oh, it can't be that bad. Oh, yeah, it's that bad. It's just flat out horrible. Lusty Claw is horrible. Lusty Claw is actually quite dusty because if you go to most liquor stores, <laughs> that bottle is dusty because they're not really flying off the shelves. I'm calling it how it is. Like I said, keeping it real on this episode. 
Uh, not that I don't any other time, but I'm definitely keeping it real again. Uh, all right, coming in the number five spot. Woo! Uh oh, man. I'm sorry. There's some whiskey I'll spend $150, like a Bar Sound Discovery, uh, the or, or even like a Four Gate or an Oak Harder. But this whiskey, I've tried it again at a friend's house, and there's no way it's ever gracing my house. Not at this price point. Decent whiskey, but probably should be closer to like $75, $80, not $200, $250. And it sits on shelves, at least in the Northeast. Actually, I've seen other states too. It sits on shelves. It just does. Number five, Old Saint Nick. Old Saint Nick, I should say. Old Saint Nick. Not, I mean, the whiskey is actually somewhat decent. It's just way overpriced. I mean, I, at least in all, all my spots, is always $200 plus, And it's just not worth that price point. Again, in my opinion. Maybe some of the people out there, you love Old Saint Nick. And you're like, yes, I, you know, I'll buy it all day long. Hey, for you, great. It's definitely available all over like the Northeast area, just so you know. Uh, but not my personal uh, choice in terms of like a $200 bottle. All right, let me get another little sip before I give you the asterisk and I'll tell you the reason why. All right. Cheers goes to all of you, my friends. Mm. Now this here, some fantastic whiskey. Sagamore Double Oak. Like a $65 bottle? Come on. All day long. I'm actually going to pour some more. It's that damn good. The asterisk. I'm going to tell you the reason why this is the asterisk as well. So, the base product, I actually love. I love. It was on my top 10 list of 2021. And then, the company tried to get a little fancy. And they created the 16-year and the 20-year. And I've tried both of those uh, at friends' houses who own both. And I'm sorry, as much as I love barrel, there's no way I'm buying barrel seagrass 8, 16, or 20 years. No way. The regular barrel seagrass, the $75, $80 bottle was fantastic. Don't make, don't try to change it. It was so damn good when it first came out, right? Seriously, it's like a movie. The first movie is always the best. The second, the third, it don't get better. It just doesn't get better. Even though it has more aged whiskey. Uh, and it obviously at 16 year or at uh, uh, 20 years, you're still talking about the 16 year is a $250 bottle and the 20 year by me, the total wine I saw the other day is a $500 bottle. It, to me, I've had them both right next to the regular barrel seagrass. Honestly, I'm sticking with the regular seagrass. I'm saving $425 compared to the 20 year and I'm happy as can be. Hey, I love barrel products, but I'm not buying the 16 or 20 year. Not because they're not good, they're just not worth that extra price point when I can get the regular one for 75 bucks or $80 and be as happy as I can be. Hey, my friends, love y'all. Peace, cheers, most important. Salute, my friends. Later.